27 News in AC with Greg Jeske, Amber Nagel, and Chief Meteorologist Bob Lindmeyer. This is 27 News at 5. We've got you covered. Welcome back. We often hear about bullying in schools and among children, but the problem stretches even further than that. Joining us tonight is Gabriella Van Ray, a bullying prevention expert. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. How do you define bullying? For me, bullying is an extreme form of meanness, and so extreme that you get yeah. isolated and that you can't function properly. How has bullying affected you personally? Basically, most, most of my youth have been bullied. Okay, and you wrote some books about this experience. Yeah, Why I wrote did a you book. you decide to share this? I decided to share it because oh. I saw right that there were so many suicides, and I said, it's got to stop. Because mm -hmm. I've been bullied 40 years ago, and I'm so sad that it just keeps going. And it is something that we need to continue to talk about and as, it, as it gets worse in our society. We hear about it a lot among kids, but this is also a problem among adults. Yeah, I believe that if we don't handle it as children, then we take it with us to the workplace. For example, a bully that's never been caught, if, if I can say that, as a child, will continue the bad habits that it's learned in childhood. And the same with a victim. I know that there are many victims, actually, that I know that are today adults, and they're often in a management position, and they are bullies, 80% in the workforce our bosses are bullies. So we think that as we grow up and mature, yeah. this problem goes away, but it doesn't necessarily. It doesn't because we have insecurities that are so deep rooted. And in childhood, it hasn't been dealt with both for the bully and the victim. Okay. What is the first step that you would recommend in preventing this cycle? Bystander. Every bystander needs to become an active witness because we see it in the workforce. But we don't just say anything because we're afraid for our own job. So we need to start speaking out. We really need to help others, yeah. And what about advice for the bullies? The bullies, my advice is what are you so insecure about? But first of all, you can't say that, of course, especially if it's your manager. But I would report it if I was in the workforce. I think we need to really not be so scared and understand that if we really have proof that we're abused on a daily basis, we need to know that the company should and will stand behind us. I think most h and are starting to. Mm -hmm. So what is the overall message that you want to leave us with, with your books? The overall message is really become an active witness, don't stand there and give the bully momentum, and really, for parents out there, start teaching your children self-liking so that they don't go like this into the workforce, feeling insecure and bullying other people. And this goes for all age groups. All age groups, okay. unfortunately, because it is an epidemic. All right. Thank you so much for being here and Thank sharing you. your message. And, of course, we have more information on our web channel, WKOW.com.